another shot. Sure. We're gonna have a little one-on-one -on -one action here. Nice. wanted me to ask you. This one I already know the answer to. Are you, how you feeling with the boat? Can you feel it moving right now? Uh, I'm good with the boat right now. When I first came in, I was a little sick, but I'm all right. That, that's because it stops now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's anchored right now. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, um, that was Brett from St. Louis. Brett's still here? How did you get to the boat? All right, yeah. um, so everyone wants to know how long you've been fighting for. I started fighting in 2003. My first fight was uh, in November. Came in from Nassau. I had to have come in from uh, Nassau. I saw him upstairs. Really? It's the the guy who's got Jakey Barber's here, too. Is he? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Is he? Somebody saw him in the gym. In New York? Yeah. Um, it was actually a street fight. See the star on the back of my head? I, uh, I was out at a club one time and, and I was a little tipsy and uh, somebody, I was actually not even trying to, trying to fight, I was trying to be like the, the negotiator, trying to make every, everything cool, you know, to be here and make sure everything, no fight happens and uh, some dude sucker punched me, I fell straight back and split my head open. So then I went back like in a movie, like in Rocky and I trained and then I, <laughs> and then I went back and got my revenge on him. Like, Rashad, don't get your ass and go back to the TV. Like, yeah! That's all you gotta say is I don't wanna fight you, so don't get your ass back. So, at first, she, she was just like, you know, she didn't really think too much of it, but then after a while, everybody was like, I'm gonna do that too. Everybody kept coming up to her, so then she kinda got, you know, everybody wanna talk to her because of me fighting, and she got, you know, happy. <laughs> Today, a little bit about how you Tell everybody what your diet plan is. When you're training, I know when you're not training, you told me you're kind of like, when you're in training mode, how do you cut down your diet? Um, you know, when I'm training, I just try to be very clean because whatever you eat, it, it comes out definitely when you're training. So, um, I try to eat a lot of, a lot of protein, uh, most of my fish and stuff like that. Um, the steaks, the carbs, the like that. And uh, but like, I know I'm asking like, you know. I, I drink Bud Light in between the rounds when I'm training. This yeah. is nice and If you see my last fight, it's because I was drinking Bud Light. <laughs> so, all right, um, this one wants to know what is a detailed workout day. Yeah. Um, a detailed workout it pretty much starts early uh, around like 7 in the morning and then after that I go to practice with the regular team practice at 10.30 and that goes for two hours and then um, three hours later I train again, hit a mid to doing some uh, a prior one hour with Jackson and then I do some kickboxing. So usually it's about a six hour thing when it comes down to it. It's just, I mean, it's like a real job you know, when it comes down to it. Then he goes home and drinks Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, or I actually want to know this one. If you could fight anyone, regardless of the weight class, who would you want to fight? Aside from him. Aside from him. Yeah, obviously. Um, I guess in a beat. Chance for the cheetah again, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was a good thing to happen to me because I've grown a lot from that whole experience. So, I'm sure that's a good All right. What was your most satisfying knockout and why? Um, it had to be the Miguel knockout. I knew it! 
good. I love Chuck. You know, Chuck is like the school good, right? But um, the reason why I like that because like when I was going into like when I even got the fight, everybody was acting like like I was gonna get killed. Like uh, like I tell people, who you got to fight next? And then like uh, I say Liddell, I'm like oh man, they give you that that touch, like they just trying to say like you know, yeah, like. You know, that kind of type of thing, so I'm like, okay, okay. And even like one of the interviewers had a nerve to ask me like a, uh, like a couple days before the fight, like what did I do to earn the right to even fight Chuck with I'm like, damn, that dude is that good, I, I can't even fight him? No, I can't even fight him. 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 That really is a tone for a different level of respect for the fans towards you. You know what I mean? It's tough. It puts you in a different level to the world. Being involved with the sport, I already knew what you were capable of. But then, you know, when people are on the outside, they don't understand that involved. You don't see the involved behind the scenes. It just took it up. Shut up! Shut up! Um, usually I just I go home and just do like regular stuff like it's just drink bubble. <laughs> drink bubble. Drink bubble. So like no partying it up? Nah, not really, man. I, I don't really, I don't really party too much. Like it's it's weird because after I won the belt, I thought I like have like this huge party, but it was like I I, I felt kind of worse than I ever felt after any fight. I just I didn't want to party. I went, you know, hung out with my after party, just stood there for a little bit and just went home because it was like, now nah, I want a belt. Now nah, what do I do? You know, it was like. You achieved it all? Yeah, I, I was like, this is it. How do you display it on your mantelpiece? Yeah, see, now. You gotta have more fun than that. I know, and that's all I do though. He's halfway here, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're thirsty. Yeah. All right, so I don't even know. But how do you do this? How do you do this? Just thank you, Larry. 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 Just thank you, Behind me when I put that knocked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And Rampage thought that was so funny when he was like, dang dog, when you got your ass knocked out, it looked like you were doing spanking it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I ain't never doing damn spanking it. JR, I'm recording this for you, well, baby. That's right, I am. Um, I did a little stinky leg. I thought I was going to do the Michael Jackson thing. My shoe! Not the stinky leg. Oh, my foot. Stanky. Hit my friend. Hit my Um, what makes me a great coach from the only ultimate fighter show is just giving the guys what I wish that I had or what I did have with Rich Franklin being one of my coaches. You know, I think that, you know, it was, it was a big platform for a uh, hype for the Ian Rampage fight, but at the same time, I couldn't ignore the opportunity of all these, you know, these 16 fighters and give them a chance to really, you know, have a chance to, to uh, get the best training and, and take it to the next level to the UFC. Uh, is this fight even going to happen? What's your thoughts on it? What do you think? I think the fight's going to happen because Rampage like money too much. And it's going to be a big fight. It's going to be a big fight. I think that also that Rampage, she's going to kind of like, uh, like, like, during the show, I systematically broke it down every single day just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, and, and he's kind of like, you guess what I'm so. I mean, he was, he was, he was talking so much trash on the show, but then when it came down to actually fighting, he decided that he wanted to retire. Yeah, so, he's ready to retire. I'm retired. I'm retired. Show me what you know. I want what you know to win because I want to uh, get a chance to fight him again, but I think that... Yeah! Show me what I think that show me is going to uh, be the ultimate fighter show. I think that show me is going to be the ultimate show. I think that show me is going to do well tonight, man. But it all depends on what show going to show up, man. You're going to show up. Thank you.